if you think of space for our purposes, just as like a horizontal line and time as a vertical line, you can visualize all of space time as like a, like think of graph paper with like the horizontal axis is space, all three dimensions of space somehow like projected down into one dimension and then a vertical dimension, right? The, the idea is that what an observer calls now might be a horizontal line in this picture. All the moments at all points in space that are all happening at the same vertical time coordinate, all the same time coordinates now. And what special relativity suggests is that if you're in a state of motion, then that slice is tilted a little bit. It's like not quite horizontal anymore relative to the first slice. And so things that are further in the future compared with one observer are in, are, are, uh, in the present of the second observer and, and so forth. One way I like to think about this is the pancake model of space-time. So imagine a stack of pancakes. Each pancake is supposed to be all of space, the whole spatial universe at one moment in time, okay? In, and think of this in the pre-relativistic idea, like the Newtonian conception that, that there's just a well-defined notion of what is all of space at every moment in time. You've got a stack of pancakes, and let's say one of the pancakes is the hot pancake. The hot pancake is the now pancake. It's the pancake that is what's happening right now. Um, and somehow the hot pancake is somehow incrementing, right? And this is the passage of time. Now you run into some very like deep questions like how quickly are the pancakes moving? They're moving at one second per second. Does one second per second make sense? If you divide a second by a second, isn't that just unitless? Like what are we talking about? How does, okay, but let's put all that aside for a second. Just imagine that there is some notion of a moving now, this sort of metaphysically presentist idea that the present exists, it's a well-defined thing and it is somehow incrementing forward. What special relativity seems to suggest is that observers in different states of motion will slice the sack of pancakes slightly diagonally. And so to an observer who is moving at some, you know, it doesn't even have to be super fast, because if you talk about the whole universe, even slow motion will, will actually, you know, ultimately produce a, a, a clear uh, discrepancy. But, you know, the, the slices are now tilted. And if you're cutting the stack of pancakes at a slight tilt, how can there be a hot pancake anymore? The two observers don't even agree on whether the slices are horizontal slices or slightly diagonal slices, how could there be a metaphysically invariant notion that one of them in one particular slicing is in fact the hot pancake? So you can see why this is like a very difficult argument to refute. 